Cheers. Cheers. <sighs> well, back in the woodlands. Well, I say back in the woodlands. It's my first time visiting the new woodlands um, that I have access to for the year. As I've said in my previous video, um, I've got access to this woodlands for the next 12 months and the option to continue that. It's, uh, it's somewhere in Leicestershire. I don't want to give any more details than that. Um, and yeah, it's, it's been a pretty interesting uh, weekend so far. You'll see uh, from the cop that appeared there, I've been accompanied by my son, who other than that will be remaining off camera. That's his choice, and that's perfectly fine. Uh, to be quite honest with you, I didn't expect him to come, so it's been a really, really nice surprise and a nice treat to have some father-son time. Um, we don't get enough of it we like ships passing in the night usually I'm getting up to go to work as he's coming in from the nightclub <laughs> when he's not a uni so uh, just got a nice cup of tea been here since last night didn't bother filming last night it was quite dark when we got here anyway and we just wanted to get set up get the tent set up and um, camp set up get something to eat have a brew um, freeze to death so sadly, uh, my son has a sleeping bag, which I didn't realise looks like a two-season sleeping bag. So even with a sleeping bag liner and my bivvy bag, he was freezing cold. My sleeping bag is rated to minus three comfort level. Um, that's nonsense, because I was freezing cold. So we've had to have a sly trip out to Argos today to get a couple of quilts. <laughs> he was either get a couple of quilts or it was go home. Um, and we didn't want to go home, so... It was a sensible option. Uh, I'm about to uh, cook some tea. I've got my Dutch oven ready. Uh, I'm going to cut off a couple of chicken legs off a chicken and uh, throw some roasties and some veggies in. And uh, yeah, probably take a good hour, hour and a half. We've got all the firewood ready to go um, and it should be nice. So the next thing I film will be me uh, butchering a piece of meat, quite literally. Doing a chicken dinner. It's not going to be practical to cook the whole chicken. So we're just going to have the legs. That's if they want to come off. <laughs> It's hard work when you're at home with a chopping board and a worktop. You're trying to keep it off the floor while also not chop your fingers off. What's that? Use your axe. It's nearly there. God, if my brother-in-law watched this. That is why I don't have a cooking channel. Right. We put them to one side because the knife needs to be sterilised.
yes, the pot did just move. I just had to cut and do something. There is a drop of water in there. Tesco's cheat roast potatoes. How roasted they're gonna be, I'm not sure. Might not be golden brown. Oh, this is soft and edible. That's all that matters. Okay. All that's needed now is to get the fire going. The way you've got your thing there, it looks like you're a vicar. Aye. The way you've got your thing there, it looks like you're a vicar. So, this is actually communal camping in the woodland. Um, I haven't built any of this, uh, and it's, it's a very, very clever uh, system with uh, two ropes giving you a half hitch between a half hitch a half measure between notches for the pot hanger so we'll get the Dutch oven on there and then when we've got some embers of course wherever I put the fire it's always just in the wrong place okay. Try not to smother it.
Well, cheers. Carrots are caramelised. The chicken's well cooked. The roasties are kind of roasted on one side. A bit of Bisto gravy. Well, do you know what? I'm sat in the woods and I'm eating uh, chicken and roast potatoes. Who could complain about that? Cheers. Well, that's the end of a, a very interesting weekend. Um, it was too dark to film at the woodlands, so we stopped off for a cheeky McDonald's breakfast on the way home rather than light a fire and then have to put it out. Um, it's been a really great weekend, it's been freezing cold. Um, the, the inside of the tent was saturated with presentation, um, and there's been every reason for it to be miserable, but it hasn't. Uh, it's been great to have a father son weekend, um, really great to see uh, my young lad here picking up horse craft skills really quickly, very naturally, getting the fire going, letting the fire down, die down, and get it going again. Um, he's been an amazing help and it's made a massive difference to them. Um, so for that reason alone it's been a great weekend, just for the time spent with my son who, you know, he's off to uni for months at a time, so I don't get that quality time with him now, not since he was little. As far as the bushcraft's concerned, I would have liked to have done more, but I think it was more about, you know, sampling the woodlands, having a wander around, trying to look for locations where I want to build my own permanent camp and I think I've, I think I've got a rough idea where I'm going to build it. Um, it's, yeah, it's been great fun. So, without further ado, um, this is me signing out. I'll see you in the next one.